Hi, welcome to the week in neurodiversity. My name is Matthew Ryan, and if you think my face looks bad, you should have seen the other neurodiversity advocate. First, in medicine, new research is showing that doctors may be able to treat severe depression without the use of medication through these specialized light treatments. I'm glad I did. By the second treatment, I started to notice a difference. Twice a week for three months last spring, Jerry and others strapped on this sort of virtual headset which delivered the low-level light. The wavelength, if there is a sufficient intensity of light, penetrates and gets to the neuron and fuels the cells. In the community this week, an Autism Speaks walk event was the first outing for a young boy with autism and his new service dog, Cookie. Tyler's family decided to pair him with a new canine friend. Owner Jason DeVito says in Tyler's case, it'll be hard not to get attached to Cookie because he'll literally be attached to Cookie. Cookie will be trained to, uh, to anchor him. So if he has that desire, that instinct to be able to pull or run off or dart off, you know, he'll be toting around the 75-pound dog at his side. A Texas college is in its second semester of a program designed to help those on the autism spectrum transition to higher education. We're able to bridge the gap between high school and college and get them prepared to go to college. I mean, that's really what we're trying to do. Basically social skills and also some, a few other things that, I, that most of the students didn't really know about. And he's learning about coping skills and how to become more independent. Can interacting with horses help with anxiety? Well, a Virginia program called Journey of Hope for Autism believes so. Little ones like Blake find an escape through Jillian. Trying anything new is really hard because he's scared of it. I love the candy cup. There's a kitty cat. The adorable four-year-old lives with autism and anxiety. He just feels free here. Hello to entertainment. A young British girl with autism's dreams came true when her favorite singer Adele invited her on stage to sing along with her. And finally, David DeSantis, an actor with Down syndrome, is becoming a star in his new film, Where Hope Grows. You play produce, right, in this movie? Yes, I do. How cool is it to be in this? It was amazing. Yeah? Maybe you just need to smile. A cheerful heart is good medicine. Where'd you get that, a bumper sticker? Who do you follow? Because this week I'm recommending my man Dan's YouTube channel. It's called The Aspie World. Check out his link at the end of this video. That's it for the week in neurodiversity. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments. Remember, you keep advocating, we'll keep bringing the news.